Hi, I'm Carlo Mancatelli of Time2 Resources. In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate and interpret weighted index numbers. Qualifications will look for you to demonstrate one of nine quantitative skills. In business, QS4 is the ability to interpret index numbers. In economics, QS5 is the ability to calculate and interpret index numbers. Index numbers are covered in a separate video. We use weighting to show the relative importance of individual data in our findings. For example, we spend more of our disposable income on petrol than we do on pizza, so this will be reflected in the basket of goods and services used to measure inflation. The table shows the cost of four raw materials that a company uses in the production process in 2020. It gives the price indices for each product based on 2017. These represent the current prices of each product where 2017 equals 100. So between 2017 and 2020, the price of product A has risen by 20%. It also weights each raw material based on how much it uses. So when producing a good, product A makes up 10% of the input in its production process. We can use this information to find out how much the price of producing this good has risen by between 2017 and 2020. To do this, we can use the following formula, where the Greek symbol sigma represents sum of, or to add up, W stands for weightings, and X stands for index numbers. Firstly, we weight each individual product. We do this by multiplying the weight for each product by the index number. So for product A, we have 10 times 120 equals 1200, B, 20 times 150 equals 3000, C, 30 times 130 equals 3,900, and D, 40 times 140 equals 5,600. Next, we sum or add up our answers and divide by 100 in order to get an average percentage change. So, 13,700 divided by 100 gives us a weighted index number of 137. Compared to the base year of 2017, when the index number equaled 100, the cost of making the product has risen to an index number of 137. This shows a 37% increase. We can simplify the process by completing our percentage change at an earlier stage, removing one step in our calculations. It still gives us an index number of 137. Thank you for watching and listening to this video on how to calculate and interpret weighted index numbers. If you haven't already done so, why not sign up to the Time2 Resources YouTube channel now.